Alright guys, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be doing an ideal gas problem and in this ideal gas problem we're going to uh, be dealing with determining molar mass of the gas that was uh, being asked about in the problem. And here are the steps. If you need to look over these steps, things that you need to do and remember, just pause the page and and read it. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here's our first problem right here. Let me try to move it to the top. All right, now let's go ahead and start uh, writing down our information that we need. All right, as you can see here, um, let's try to list as much as possible. It says the label on on a cylinder of an of a noble gas became il 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 eligible, meaning you, they could not read it. So, a student allowed some of the gas to flow into a gas bulb with volume. Alright, so we got a volume. They tell us it has a volume of 0 0.3000 0, 0 liters. As we keep reading it, it says until the pressure, so here's pressure, pressure equals 0 0.901 atmosphere. Now it says the sample now weighed 1.45 grams. Okay, so we've got <laughs> mysteriously 1.45 grams. And its temperature, so they give us a temperature, the temperature equals 27 degrees Celsius. Now we know we can't use that. We need to add uh, 273 to that. I know it's 273.15, but you know, sig fig rules. So we add this, and we know that our temp our temperature really should be um, it looks like 300, 701. Yep, 300, 300 degrees what Kelvin? So I just write a K down. All right, so this temperature is not needed anymore because you can't use Celsius. They want to they want to know the following: What is the molar mass of the gas? And which is it? Okay. Well, all right. Let's see what we can do here. Well, we need the ideal uh, gas law equation, the perv nerd equation, PV equals N R T. Now, if you look here, the closest thing that we're going to be able to find is moles. That's this. Okay. So. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get N by itself. This would be N equals PV over. Now remember, we're going to move the R and the T straight down to the bottom here. So there's R, T. Now let's plug and chug here. Uh, N equals what was the pressure? The pressure was 0 0.901 atmosphere. The uh, volume was 0 0.3000, basically like 3000, but we know it's not 3000, but anyway, 0 0.3000 liters. The gas constant value is parentheses 0 0.0821 LATM Latum over moke. Now that's liters times atmosphere, folks. Moles times Kelvin, so there's moke. Latum over moke, and my temperature is 300 degrees Kelvin. Now we get a handy dandy cheetah later, which we've got one right here. Let's punch this in. We've got 0 0.901 times 0 0.3000. Okay, that's the two top numbers divided by 0 0.0821. Enter is that number divided by 300. Now when we do this we end up getting the following number. We get N equals 0 0.0197 and remember this is moles, moles of the unknown gas. Now if you look we need to uh, see what they've done to us so far, meaning we need to determine um, how to find uh, basically the molar mass of this gas. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll use this mole amount and this number here. Now, 
<coughs> what we need to do is we need to actually think about this. Now, this is 1.45 grams, uh, meaning this is what was found after they took um, basically this. Okay, uh, we know that in order for them to get grams of this, we know that they had to take uh, the given number of grams. Okay, basically the given number of grams and divide it by the molar mass to get the number of moles. So if you look at this, <laughs> the given number of grams is uh, basically the 1.45, which would be here. And the number of moles is what we see here. So we just need to really swap out these two. So basically, if we'll take the given number of grams and divide it by the number of moles, we will get the molar mass. I'll read that as mm. So basically, uh, we need to make sure we pick the correct number of sig figs. Uh, here, since that has three, to be three sig figs, so that'll be n equals 0 0.01. Now look at this, this nine and this seven, that's gonna pump, bump that up to a one and a zero. So there's our number of sig figs there. Now remember, this is moles. So now all we have to do now is take this 1.45 grams, that was the given number of grams, divide it by the number of moles, which is 0 0.0110 moles. And see, there's the hint, grams per mole will give us our molar mass, and our molar mass is going to be what? Well, I don't know, let's type it in. It's going to be 1.45 divided by 0 0.0110. And we end up getting 131.8 two grams per mole. Now, if you look at the periodic table, the only thing that's close to that that is a noble gas is Xe, which is xenon. So this is actually xenon, Xe. Okay, so we've managed, because you see that, the 131.29. I know it's not exactly 0.82, but it, we know it's a noble gas by far and for sure. So Anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Just watch it over and over and over till you get an understanding of it, and uh, just be careful right here. All right, guys, time for the credits. Hoped it was helpful.